Question 3. Two functions f and g are defined by f x equal to 3x plus 4 and g x equal to uh, x squared plus 6. So find the expression for the f g and g f. Then find the value of x when. So we need to solve for a b. f is equal to x. b f g is equal to g f. So we have two, two functions here. The function f which is equal to 3x plus 4. And then we have the function g here, which is equal to x squared plus 6. So let us solve for the first one, a. It stated that the f is equal to g, which means the f, which is the 3x plus 4, is equal to the g, which is x squared plus 6. If I look at here, I'm going to have a quadratic equation as the highest power for my x here is square. So in order to keep this x square positive, I'm going to move this 3x and this plus 4 to the other side. So I'm going to get x square minus 3x plus 6 minus 4 equal to 0. So I can solve for the numbers here. So I'm going to get x minus 3x plus 2 equal to zero now in order to solve for the quadratic equation then i need to do the factorizations so i'm going to get x x here so this is a plus and this is a minus so i know that in this bracket both of this is going to be a minus so in order to get two i need to minus multiply two times one so if you look at here this will give you the answer of negative one x and this will give you the answer of negative 2x which is going to when you total it it will be equal to minus 3x after you are able to factorize it x minus 2 equal to 0 or x minus 1 equal to 0 so when I solve it x will equal to 2 or x equal to 1 so that is the solution for the a now, for the question B here, it stated the fg and gf, which is the composite function, they are the same, they are equal to each other. So before I'm able to equalize them, I need to find first what is the composite function of fg. So fg is mean you have to insert the function g into the f. So the function g is x squared plus 6. So I'm going to insert this into the x in our function f, which is going to become x a 3 bracket x squared plus 6 plus 4. So expand this. So I'm going to get 3x squared plus 18 plus 4. So these two, 18 plus 4, I can solve this. So finally, I will have 3x squared plus 22. That is for the composite function of fg. Then I'm going to solve for the composite function of gfx, which means we're going to insert the function f into the function g. Function f, 3x plus 4, is, this is the one that we're going to insert into the x in our function g here. So we're going to get bracket 3x plus 4 square plus 6. So, which means we need to expand this. So, you're going to have a bracket, two bracket of this. So, we're going to expand it. So, you're going to get 9x squared plus 12x plus 12x plus 16 plus 6. So the one with the likes term, you can solve it. So you're going to get 9x squared plus 24x plus 22. That is the composite function of gx. Now, it stated that they are both equalized. So we are going to equalize them together now. So fg is equal to gf. So this is our fg, which is 3x squared plus 22. And then gf, which is this one, 
9x squared plus 24x plus 22. Now, this is also a quadratic function. So, in order to solve it, we need to move everything into one side. So, the one side, the other side will become a zero. And in order to keep the a positive, so I'm going to move this 3x squared and this plus 22 to the other side. So, I will have 9x squared plus 24. Okay, 9x squared minus 3x squared plus 24x plus 22 minus 22 equal to 0. So this 3x square and then this 22, I'm going to move it towards this side. So what I'm going to get next is the light term. I can solve it. So I will have 6x square plus 24x equal to 0 as this 22 minus this 22 equal to 0. So I'm going to continue here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to simplify these things. So I'm going to divide each of the terms here with 6. So what, what I'm going to get next is x squared plus 4x equal to 0. So later on, I'm going to factorize this thing because I have the common x in both of the terms. So x so x bracket x plus 4 equal to 0. So I'll factorize it. So this means x is equal to 0 or x plus 4 equal to 0. So this one definitely is a 0. So this one we need to keep solving it. So move this plus 4 to the side. It will become minus 4. So that is the solution for the x for the question B. Question number four, given that the function fx is equal to ax plus b and the function f square is equal to 4x minus 9. So find the value of the constants a and b. So this composite function of f square is coming from this function f, which you insert the function f into the function f again, then this is the one that you're going to get. So to find the constants a and b, we need to do the comparisons in these questions. So first one, we're going to find uh, from the scratch, uh, what is the f square using the function f that we have here. So the composite function of f square, which means we're going to insert the function f into the function f. So the function f is ax plus b that we have here. So we're going to insert this ax plus b into the x in our function f again. So a bracket ax plus b plus b. Then we're going to expand this. We're going to get a square x plus ab plus b. We cannot solve this further because there is no more like terms in these equations that we have here. Now we're going to compare this with the f square x that is given in the question which is the 4x minus 9. Now we're going to do the comparison first by looking at the terms which have the x here. So the coefficient for the x here is 4 and the coefficient for the x here is a square. So these two things is actually exactly the same so which means a square is equal to 4. To solve for the a then I need to move this square to the other side it will become a square root so a is equal to square root of 4. So the square root consists of one positive and one negative answer. So finally we're going to have plus 2 or negative 2. So as positive 2 you square it you will get 4 and negative 2 when you square it you're also going to get number 4 so that's why when you square root a post square root a number you're going to get a positive 1 and a negative 1 now later on we need to solve for the b now by doing the comparisons this a b plus b is actually equal to this minus 9 here so we're going to have a b plus b is equal to 
the negative 9. Now, I already have the A, which we already solved here. We have two answers for the A. So we need to solve the B one by one. So the first one is when the A is equal to positive 2. Then I'm going to replace the A here with the number 2. So I'm going to have 2B plus B equal to negative 9. So this one will give you the answer of 3B equal to negative 9. B is equal to negative 9 divided by 3, which will give you the answer of negative 3. So the first answer is when the A is equal to positive 2, then we're going to have the B which is equal to negative 9 and uh, negative 3. So for the second one, when when a is equal to negative 2, I'm going to replace the a here with negative 2. So you're going to get negative 2b plus b equal to negative 9. So solve for this part, you're going to get negative b equal to negative 9. Then I'm going to divide both sides with negative 1. So finally, you're going to get b is equal to 9. So the other pairs of answer is when the a is equal to negative 2, b will become 9. Question 5. If fx is equal to 3x plus k and gx is equal to 2h minus 3x such that fg is equal to gf, find the relation between the h and k. So before we are able to find the relation of h and k, so first of all, we need to find first the composite function of fg and gf. So from the question here, the function fx is equal to 3x plus k and the function gx is equal to 2h minus 3x. So first, we're going to find the composite function of fg which means we're going to insert the function g into the function f. So the function g is 2h minus 3x. So this is the one that we're going to insert into the x in our f. So we're going to get 3 bracket 2h minus 3x plus k. So expand this, you're going to get 6h minus 9x plus k. So I cannot uh, solve this further as there is no more like terms uh, here. So that is the composite function of fg. Then we need to continue to solve for what is the composite function of the gf. So gf is mean we're going to insert the function f into the function g. fx is equal to 3x plus k. This is the one that we're going to insert into the x in our function g. 2h minus 3 bracket 3x plus k. Expand this. Negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. Negative 3 times uh, a positive k is going to become negative 3k. So we cannot solve this further as you don't have any like term. Uh, in these equations. So this is the uh, composite function of gf. So based on the questions, it stated that fg is equal to gf. So fg is this one. So 6h minus 9x plus k equal to gf which is equal to this one. So 2h minus 9x minus 3k. So to find the relation between the h and k, so I need to move the h into one side and the k into the other side. Now, if you look at here, we have a negative 9x. Here is also a negative 9x. So if you move either of this one to the other side, it will become a plus 9x. So negative 9x plus 9x, then you're going to get 0. All right. So if I have something like this, 6h, let's move the h to the uh, to the left hand side so 6h minus 2h okay let's say if you want to do for the x as well it's the same thing so negative 9x plus 9x equal to negative 3k so we're going to move this plus positive k to the other side so become minus k 
So 6H minus 2H, you're going to have 4H. This negative 9X plus 9X, it will become 0. So they will cancel out each other. And negative 3K minus K is negative 4K. To solve this further, we can divide both sides with 4. So what we're going to have here is H equal to negative K. So H equal to negative K is the relations between the H and K.